launch out into the deep. My God, help me touch you tonight. I exalt you. I magnify you. I praise you, Jesus. Oh, God, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Hallelujah. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. Always a privilege just keeping prayer tonight. Brother Grialva needs healing in his body. Amen. Let's pray for the backslider and the sinner. That God will get a hold of their lives and transform them. Amen. Help us to reach them. Help us to love them and bring them in. Amen. Praise the Lord. And let's also keep in mind, amen, revival services can pray for them that God will have his will. And then again, pray for the needs of this service tonight, those needing the Holy Ghost. Amen. Everyone in this place probably has things they need a touch of God. Amen. Remember to pray for one another, the equality of harvest. Amen. Please remember to keep everybody in prayer as we go before the Lord tonight. Amen. If you have a special need, come forward. We'll lay hands on you and pray for you. Amen. If we could all lift our hands tonight. Uh, and now let's lift our voices. God, we're asking you tonight to touch Brother Grialva. My God, we're asking you to minister to him tonight. Uh, my God, where he lays, God, touch him, Lord. Uh, my God, let the healing virtue of God enter into his body. Uh, oh, God, we're asking you tonight to touch every backslider, uh, every sinner in this place. Uh, my God, we pray for the new converts to become established. Uh, my God, bless their lives. Touch them tonight. Uh, my God, I pray for the saints of God in this service. Uh, every need, God, every situation. My God, I pray that you touch it tonight in the name of Jesus. Almighty oh, God, we give you praise. We give you glory. And the honor, Lord, we lift our hands in worship as we
you, Jesus. I thank you, God, for a miracle-working God tonight. Uh, my God, I thank you for working miracles in my life. God, I thank you that you are truly great. You are wonderful, God. Uh, my God, there is no one else like you. Uh, my God, you are the reason that I'm here today. Uh, you are the reason that I'm alive. Uh, my God, I've come to give you praise and glory and honor tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. step out of the aisle tonight and thank an awesome God for being your provider, being your healer, being your savior. Oh!
is in this house right now. I just feel faith in the atmosphere tonight. If you have a special need in your life that you're praying about, I encourage you for a moment, step out. They're going to sing it again, but I want you to step forward. I want you to lift your hands to this awesome God. I want you to lift your prayer request. And as they begin to sing this again, I want you to begin to believe that while you're praying, the Holy Ghost hears your prayer and God is responding to your cry. Come on. There's room in this altar right now. Just come forward. When you get here, I want you to lift your voice all over the building. Now I want you to begin to join in and begin to pray right now. Lift your greatest oh, need before the throne. Holy, he's a mighty God. Holy, he's a holy God. Holy, he's a victorious holy, God. That's it. Every eye closed. Stretch those hands toward the heavens. Open your mouth. down your face. God, I don't know how, but I know, God, that you've got everything in control. I lift my family up to you, Jesus. Come on. He's an awesome God. right now. Somebody's getting the victory of the Holy Ghost tonight. Somebody's getting a renewing of the Holy Ghost tonight. You just worship with your whole heart right now. He's awesome. He's an awesome God. He's an awesome God. Go ahead. lifted all over the building without any music right now. From the platform to the back wall, lift your voice, saints of God. Come on. God responds to the cry of his people. Come on, God, here's your voice right now. There's chains breaking. Let the tears flow. Let the Holy Ghost begin to lift the heaviness right now. That's it, church. We got time to have a prayer meeting like this right now. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Somebody begin to pray with a fervency tonight. Come on, somebody's touching the throne of heaven right now. In the name of Jesus, 
in the name of Jesus. Come on, let the Holy Ghost lead you right now. Somebody pray the way your soul wants you to pray. Forget about what's coming next. All over the building, every eye closed, everybody talking to Jesus tonight. Come on, somebody's waiting for the service to continue, but God's moving right now. You can receive the Holy Ghost right now. You can be renewed in the Holy Ghost right now. You can receive healing right now. You ought not to wait for any other moment. You ought to just lift your voice and begin to pray in intercession and travail right now. Come on, just forget about what's going to happen in the remainder of this service. Right now, it's just you and Jesus talking together. Right now, we're just entertaining the Holy Ghost tonight. Come on, Mama, pray in the Holy Ghost for a little while. Come on, teenager. Come on, young man. Come on, platform. Come on, saint of God. Let's take some time and just pray and do what God wants us to do tonight. Come on, there's a shift taking place in this house right now. We're entering into a deep move of God. God's calling somebody to a spirit of travail right now. Step into it. 
Come on, step into it in the Holy Ghost. Go ahead, let the Holy Ghost begin to work right now. We may move forward in a minute, but right now it's prayer time. Somebody lift your voice in the Holy Ghost. Somebody open your mouth and begin to pray. Join in with everybody else. God is working right now. God is moving in this building right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're pushing back principalities. Come on, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Come on, we're, we're wrestling against spiritual wickedness in high places. We're wrestling against devices of the enemy of division. We're wrestling against the prince of the power of this region. But there's some families, there's some moms and dads that are lifting their voice in the Holy Ghost right now, saying, no, I'm going to have the victory in my home. I'm going to have the victory in my marriage. Come on, there it is, there it is. I'm going to have the victory in my spirit. I'm going to have the victory in my heart. I'm going to have the victory in my mind. There it is, something's breaking right now. I need about five prayer warriors to lift your voice to a passionate roar. And let's break loose right now what the Holy Ghost is wanting to do in this place. Go, 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 go.
Do we got to love the Lord all over this house? Come on, wherever you're at, I think you ought to just lift up your voice one more time. Come on, let's just love him. Oh, let's thank him for his visitation. Come on, let's thank him for his visitation right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, let's thank him for walking in this service like he has. Oh, I love you, Jesus. Come on, we long for moments like this when heaven kisses earth. Come on, you ought to thank him for visiting you right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Come on, let's lift our voice. We love you, Jesus. Come on, we ought to turn this into praise right now. Thank you, God, for what you've done, but there's victory in this room tonight. Thank you, God, for some consecration and plug it in the Holy Ghost, but there's victory. Come on, that's the result of plugging in. There's victory in the room tonight. Come on, we need somebody to believe that right now in the Holy Ghost. Come on, there's victory in the house right now. Come on, there's victory in the room tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, it's feeling good in the house of the Lord right now. Come on, it's feeling good on a Tuesday night at TRC. Come on, the atmosphere is charged tonight. Come on, faith is rising in the room. Come on, it's in these atmospheres that anything is possible tonight. Come on, that's why we're praying whatever you have need of. Come on, it's in this room where needs are met. And amen, God begins to work and people are filled with the Holy Ghost. And the devil, come on, is cast out and has to flee. It's in these atmosphere, come on, where faith is risen to an all-time high. Sin has to leave. And come on, prison doors are open. And amen, shackles are set loose. Strongholds are torn down. Come on, I think someone needs to, he might have a little victory moment in the house right now. Someone needs to put a little praise on what you're feeling in the room right now. Hallelujah. There's some victory here. Come on. There's some victory in your hands. There's some victory in your feet. There's some victory in your mouth. There's some victory in your shout. There's some victory in your worship. You know, out of all the haste in leaving Egypt, the Bible says that they had to leave Egypt in the middle of the night. Amen. The Bible tells them that they had to go and gather. They didn't have time to get their get their victuals. They didn't have time to put amen, a lunch together. They had to go get the dough before it already set up. They had to work very quickly to get out of Egypt in the middle of the night. One night they're there, the next night they're leaving. Not in the waiting for the morning to break, but in the middle of the night, the Bible says, in haste. They exited Egypt. It's in the middle of the night that they're trying to figure out what they're going to do next. It's in the middle of the night where people are startled and moms are coming to kids and snatching them out of the bed and saying, tonight we're going to leave Egypt. We don't have time to wait. Tomorrow isn't promised. Tonight, right now, before Pharaoh changes his mind, we got to get everything we can get, hurry up and put it in a suitcase, and it's time to go on into the land that God's promised us. I can imagine in that moment that they were putting the pictures that they had. They were like maybe how we would do if it's time to pack in haste. We're going to put pictures and you're going to get your marriage certificate and you're going to get things that you don't want to forget about. And here they are. They're throwing everything that's important in the suitcase and they're running out in the middle of the night in haste. They don't have time to plan it out. They don't have, I know they've been there 430 years, but they don't know when the day is going to come. And all of a sudden, hey man, they get their exodus and they're on their journey. And God starts opening up the doors and God starts letting his people go. But after about two days, just as they thought, everything was about to change. And the Egyptians changed their mind and they came in hot pursuit after the Israelites. 
Stay with me. Amen. Amen. They come to that Red Sea and they are up against the wall. They know that if they stay there, they're going to be destroyed and they start praying to God and God starts opening up. Amen. Amen. The windows of heaven and he tells Moses, I want you to stretch your rod and I'm going to part the Red Sea and I'm going to provide a way in the middle of your trial and I'm going to let you walk on dry ground enemies at their back but the Lord goes before them and he makes the crooked path straight enemies all around but they can sense that victory is in the nostrils of God amen they know that it's been 430 years amen in Egypt but it's time to get a little taste of where God's trying to take them and God says I won't stop amen with just letting you out of Egypt but there's no Red Sea that'll stop come on there's no wilderness that'll keep you out of where I want to take you. If you'll follow after the cloud and the pillar of fire, I'm going to lead you into all the lands that flow with milk and with honey. I want to tell somebody tonight, I feel like the cloud's moving. I feel like the cloud of pillar of fire's moving right now. And God's leading us into great victory. And God's leading us into great promise. And God's leading us into great destination. But the Bible says they get on the other side of the Red Sea. And here comes those old Egyptians. Here they come in horse and chariot. And they're still fast after the people of God. And on the banks of the other side of the Red Sea, the Israelites stand there and they're looking at people that's been opposing them, beating them, amen, taskmasters on their back for all those years. Amen. Felt like centuries that have went and gone. And here they are right on their pursuit. And they're probably wonder. I wonder if this is going to be just like at other times. Amen. That the enemy is going to come back and they're going to take us back to Egypt. It's just one miracle away from me digressing back to where I came from. But all of a sudden the same waters that were parted, amen, became the waters that began to drown out the enemy. The same waters that brought the people of God through deliverance was the same waters that destroyed the enemy that came in hot pursuit. And the Bible says that they're standing on the other side. And there they are, amen, looking at the devastation of the, Israel, of the Egyptians, rather. And they're looking on all that has happened. And the Bible said they start to sing in Exodus 15 and 19. For the horse of Pharaoh went in with his chariots and with his horsemen into the sea. And the Lord brought again the waters of the sea upon them. But the children of Israel went on dry ground in the midst of the sea. And Miriam, the prophet, Prophetess, the sister of Aaron, took a timbrel in her hand, and all the women went out with her in the timbrel and the dance. And Miriam answered them, saying, ye, ye to the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously. The horse and the rider, amen, is forsaken or is dead. Now, I got news for you right now. I don't find one place when they're running for their life that they stopped on the edge of the banks and they started carving out wood and they started getting the heat on the fire beat up and they started making a little bit of metal. Amen. Bury him, it looks like. Amen. Pack that in her suitcase in the middle of the night out of the necessities that she would need in the pursuit of God. Because when faith goes on a journey, it always packs a tambourine. My God, I don't have time to preach it tonight. But when faith goes on a journey, it's always got a little bit of victory in its suitcase. When faith has to step out, even if it's in the middle of the night, Mary said, I don't know what God's going to do. I don't know how we're going to get across the Red Sea. But I know that if God opens this door, he's going to open the next door. I know that if God opens this door, he's going to make a way in the wilderness. I know that if God took care of us for 430, 
30 years, 40 years wondering, ain't going to stop nothing. Because when faith goes on a journey, it always packs a tambourine. I want to tell somebody that's on the journey of faith right now, I don't know how God's going to do it, but you ought to pack you some victory in the suitcase that says somewhere along the journey, I'm going to stop and praise him. I don't know how God's going to do it, but in in advance, I know that he's able. I know that he's on time. I know that he's long-suffering. I know that he never gives up. Preacher, I don't know how God's going to do it. I don't know how he's going to do it either. But I know that I know that I know that he's going to come through. And I'm going to pack me a little bit of victory along the way. And excuse me, but tonight I feel like we're going to take a little praise break because God's given us victory. Excuse me, don't feel sorry for me. You don't know the trial that I've been been in. I'm sorry, you may think I lost my mind, but you don't know where God found me. You don't know how busted and disgusted I was. But somewhere in the middle of my dilemma, I packed me a little bit of tambourine. I packed me a little shout beat. I packed me a little bit of a drum. And when I get on the other side, I'm gonna testify that the Lord has been good. No wonder David comes walking back into the city of David and he's lost his mind as Michael looks out the window and she looks at David and says, David, you've danced like a madman. In other words, amen, she kept talking and said, you've danced yourself naked in the streets. He was just not wearing his royal garments. Amen, because he didn't want nothing hindering the praise and the worship of God. And David looked at a woman, amen, and said, woman, he said, you think this is vile? You ain't seen nothing yet. You know what David did before David ever left to go get the Ark of the Covenant? He he had already packed him a tambourine in the suitcase before David ever went on the journey to go get that beautiful Ark which represented the Spirit of God. He said, I'm going to dance my way back into the presence of God. I'm going to dance my way back to the city. You know why? Because when faith goes on a journey, it always packs a tambourine. I got to preach to you right now. I don't know what journey you're on, but you ought to pack some victory in it. I don't know where you're going, but you better pack some victory in it. I don't know where you're going, but you better put some shouting shoes in it. Because when we get there, amen, we're going to shout and we're going to rejoice. No wonder it's in World War II and they have told all the piano players and they have told all the piano makers including Stein one of the great pianos that we all know and love today those upright pianos and baby grand pianos that everybody likes to play but they have told the factories you can't make pianos because we're in the middle of the war and we need the copper and we need the metal and we need the wood in fact Stein started making coffins and they started helping out with everything else they could but the Stein CEOs and some of the engineers started thinking about how they could help the troops that were over in battle. And they went to the government and they said, would you please just take the mandate off of us for a little while and we want to make something that's going to bless the men that are over in battle. And they said, okay, what do you want to do? And they said, we want to call it the GI for short, but we want to call it Vertical Victory. We want to create a piano that's lightweight and that's colored in army green. And we're going to go over into the into the war. And we're going to drop it out of the planes in a parachute. And I know it don't you don't think much about it. But if those troops can just get the sound of an ivory key going, hey man, they're going to get a little bit of victory in the middle of the battle. 
the government said that's a great idea and Stein went to build the pianos and they cut a lot of the weight out but they made sure the sound never changed and they went up in the airplane and they dropped the vertical victories the GI pianos and it said it's what turned the war around because when the men that were forgot what they were fighting for and the men started bearing a lot of their brothers and a lot of their coat of arms they said when they started hearing the sound of people playing the piano when they started hearing the sound of a little bit of vertical victory all of a sudden they remembered their mamas and they remembered America and they remembered what they were fighting for and the morale and the boost of the nation I got to preach to somebody right now. You know what's happening in this service tonight? Hey, but you think it's just an emotionalism. Honey, this is a little bit of vertical victory. You know what's happening right now? When you get your hands up, it's just a little vertical victory. You know what happens when you get your feet off the ground? It's just a little bit of vertical victory. You know what happens when the praise team sings and we start getting loose in the Holy Ghost? It's just a little vertical victory. Why? Because when faith goes on a journey, it always packs praise. It always packs worship. It always packs a tambourine. It all, come on. I don't know what kind of battle you're in, but if you want to get out of that battle, you better have praise on your lips. I don't know how bad your circumstance is, but if you want to cut loose, it's what's going to break the chains. Paul and Silas, I know you're in jail, but if you can just get some vertical victory, Paul and Silas, I know your legs are in stocks and bonds, but if you could just lift up your voice, how the earth is going to shake and the jail's going to tremble and you're going to be released. Why? Because you made up your mind before I ever got on this journey. I packed in some faith and I packed in some worship and I packed in some victory. I'm done preaching, and you don't even know it. There's people in this room right now that you need some victory before we leave this house tonight. There's people in this room right now, amen, that need some victory in the Holy Ghost. Come on, you prayed. There's some of you already got consecrated. You repented. You plugged in. You just got affirmation in the Holy Ghost. However, whatever your prayer meeting was, hey man, I, 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 hey man I'm, I'm applauding you tonight. I'm not downplaying it. Hey man, before we leave this house, hey man, you need some vertical victory in your life. You don't get vertical victory on the job by itself. You don't get vertical victory at school by itself. But you can have vertical victory on the job. And you can have vertical victory on the school campus. And you can have vertical victory at the grocery store. And you can have vertical, come on, come on. It's something you get in your spirit that doesn't matter what journey I'm on. Miriam said, I don't know what everybody else is packing in the suitcase. But I'm going to pack me a tambourine because one day I believe in that God's going to do, I want to preach to somebody right now. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what odds are against you. But if you'll start putting some things when you leave this house, you know what's happening when the preacher preaches? He's giving you things to pack in your suitcase. Every time you come to the house of God, he's giving you another word to bundle it up, wrap it up as tight as you can, and stuff it in there for the journey. I don't know how long your journey is going to be, but I want to be prepared. I want to make sure I got everything thing I need to make it expected here. Come on, saint of God. Don't close your ears off to preaching. Don't close your ears off to worship. Don't say that's just another hype session. No, that's just giving me another piece of luggage to take on the journey of life. And no matter what comes against me, amen, if faith's on a journey, it's going to pack what's worthy for the trip. And so tonight, there's victory in the room. I said there's victory in the room. Come on, I know, I know you're saying, preacher, I don't know what you're expecting me to do. Cart, whips, cart, cart flips or cart wheels. Man, that's a cart flip. That's powerful. I'd like to see that. Me and Brother Crosby, we could probably do a cart flip, all right. We could do a cart roll, too. Praise God. Hey, man, I'm not telling you how you need to worship. I'm not telling you how you need to sing. But I'm telling you there's some victory in the house. And it's been a while since some of you had some victory in your life. 
Come on, I feel the Holy Ghost here right now. Come on, I felt I couldn't get off this all day. Hey, but I'm just telling you there's some victory in the room right now that before we leave this house, there's some people that will have to get out your pews to get the vertical victory. There'll be some people that have to get off of your wallet to get some vertical victory. There's some people that have to get out of your comfort zone and say, okay, God, I'm not going to leave it to sister so-and-so to do the Holy Ghost helicopter by herself. I'm not going to leave it to sister, come on, and brother so-and-so because he's always there. But tonight, God, I need some vertical victory. Amen, make some room. I need some victory in the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. I want you to slip back out of your pew and just slip back down the aisle and just slip down, come on, and say, tonight, uh, I get some vertical victory. Come on, uh, in the name of Jesus. Come on, uh, I'm packing some faith tonight. Uh, I'm packing a tambourine on this journey because one day we're going to rejoice. Uh, one day God's going to do it in the name of I want if anybody shout for Brother Crosby right now like he would want to. I want if a brother would shout, amen, for your brother, amen, that's in need right now and say, I'm going to get some vertical victory. Come on, come on, TRC. There's a breakthrough in the Holy Ghost. There's a breakthrough in the Holy Ghost. Somebody needs to throw their head back and get lost in the spirit right now. Somebody needs to get loose. Somebody needs to get loose, TRC. Somebody needs to get loose in the spirit right now and say, there's victory coming. 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 Come on. no, 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 Come on, is there a Miriam that will play the tambourine? Come on, is there somebody that will play the tambourine? And say, give me victory, Holy Ghost. Give me victory, saint of God. I gotta have victory in my mind. Come on, is there somebody that will shout and dance? Is there somebody that lift up their voice? Is there somebody that will praise God right? Come tell you, no, 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 Come on, come on, come on. Come on, there's a breakthrough in the house right now. Come on, there's a breakthrough in this room. Go ahead, go ahead, praise until you get a breakthrough. Praise until something changes. Praise, amen, until walls come down. Praise. Come on. No shackles are going to bind me. No circumstance is going to keep me. Come on, I'm going to praise until I praise my way out. Come on, come on. The choir is not going to be in your back pocket tomorrow. Come on, the praise team's not going to be there when you got to fight hell the rest of this week. But if you can pack some praise and you can pack a tambourine, come on, on the life of, come on, on the destiny, amen, on the journey of faith, come on, amen, you'll be able to make it all the way through. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I feel the Holy Ghost here right now. Come on, I feel strength in the room. Come on, I feel strength in the room right now. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, we're not done yet. Come on, we're just getting loose. Come on, we're just getting loose. There's some people that God's just getting you loose right now. Come on, come on, there's more for us. It's early right now, but I feel like there's a, I feel like there's a breakthrough in somebody's home. I feel like there's a breakthrough in somebody's marriage tonight. I feel like there's a breakthrough in an opposition that's been coming against you. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, there it is. Come on, there it is. No, 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 Somebody's a praying the Holy Ghost. Somebody's a praying the Holy Ghost right now. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, 
come on, come on. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Is that all you got? Come on. The adversary's still coming. Is that all you got? The horse and the rider are still chasing after you. Is there anybody that says, hey, I'm making sure. I'm making sure that I got victory on Wednesday. I'm making sure I got victory on Thursday. I'm making sure I got victory on Friday and Saturday. Come on. I want you to find someone to link up with right now. I want you to find someone that can shout with you. We're going to get a dancing partner right now. I want you to find someone that you know will shout with you. Come on. Come on. I want to get you to get someone to dance with you right now. Come on. If that person won't dance, find somebody else. It's time to dance in the Holy Ghost. It's time to get loose of the Holy Ghost. Come on. Dance with your brother. Go, 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 go. Shout and dance and get a little bit of vertical victory. Go ahead. Victory in the Holy Ghost. Victory over your circumstance. Victory over your mind. Victory over your heart. Find someone that know what it's like to lift up their voice.
victory in the house right now. There's victory in the Holy Ghost right now. Hold on just a moment. The old timers in old time Pentecost, they used to do what we call stomping on the devil. And what they would do is whenever they started going through something, they would name that devil and say, devil, you're under my feet. Then they'd start doing this. And the Holy Ghost would start breaking out. They're going to play it again. I want you to name that devil you're up against and say, devil, you're under my feet. Then we're going to begin to stomp on the devil. Ready? Somebody get loose in the Holy Ghost right now. Go ahead. Begin to stomp on the devil. Devil, you're under my feet. My God, somebody get loose in the Holy Ghost right now. Welcome to Pentecost. Somebody begin to stomp on doubt. Somebody begin to stomp on the spirit of backsliding. Somebody begin to stomp on the spirit of bitterness. Somebody begin to stomp on the spirit of depression right now. Go ahead. Get loose in the Holy Ghost. Get loose in the Holy Ghost. One more time. discouragement shows up again you know, I'm sorry I didn't have room to pack you this time but I had some room and I packed my praise instead when that old devil of bitterness shows up tomorrow say sorry ain't no more room in the suitcase for you I replaced you with worship instead when that old devil of pettiness shows up tomorrow sorry ain't room in the suitcase this time I packed my praise instead I packed a little victory today. I packed a little shouting today. When the devil of discouragement shows back up, ain't got room for you no more. But I got my tambourine. I got a praise on my lips. I got a praise in my hands. I can praise him in my living room. I can praise him in my hallway. I can praise him when I'm driving down the road. Because I've been delivered. Somebody shout yes. what would be crazy to leave a service with all this victory and not come back Sunday morning that'd just be crazy man I'm glad I didn't sit at home and watch TV tonight would have been real hard to do because I don't have a TV praise God 
I'm glad I didn't sit at home mad at the world tonight, but I came here and got some victory from a suitcase. Aren't you glad you came to church on a Tuesday night? Since I feel that spirit of victory in the house, then I think now's a great time to do something every victorious person loves to do, and that's give our tithes and offerings. Praise God. So go get your wallets quickly and get your tithes and offerings. Hey, man, you're going to take victory home for you. Give God what's his. Hallelujah. Remember our announcements Sunday morning, 11 a.m. Bible class. I encourage all new ones and anybody that wants to learn how to teach a Bible study, be here at 11 in the conference room for Bible class, 12 prayer, 1230 worship. My watch just said, looks like you're working out. Do you want to start an indoor run? This is cheaper than the gym membership. Someone said, how do you say so skinny? I said, I just worship, man. Immediately following service, we have our fireworks signups. We're just two weeks out from fireworks. And uh, what a blessing this fundraiser is to this church and such hardworking people. And I appreciate all the hard work this church has done year after year working these fireworks stands. So immediately following this service, Antelope Booth's sign up is right here to your right, my left. Main Street Booth sign up is right here to your left, my right. Every day needs to have somebody on it. We need to fill these slots so that we can work these booths and not leave them unattended. And so make sure before you go home, you sign what days you can work and be involved in this fundraiser. Revival scheduled this week is going to be Sunday, Monday. Brother Harris has a youth camp scheduled to preach on the East Coast. And he's got to fly out early Tuesday morning. So we've been having Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So we'll have two services like normal this week, except it'll be on Monday instead of Tuesday. So Sunday, 12 prayer, 12.30 worship. Monday, 7 prayer, 7.30 worship. No service the Tuesday. We'll pick back up that following week because uh, Brother Harris is headed out of town Tuesday morning to preach that camp before returning. And we're thankful for what God has been doing around here. And this is that, that area of revival where when I was an evangelist, I felt like, all right, we just got to where we're supposed to be. Now this thing's ready to go. There's a liberty in the house right now. So I'm going to tell you what. You call every father you know and say, if you're going to be anywhere this Sunday, more important than the bar room you had planned to go to, you need to be at the church house on Gilmore Road at 1230 to come experience Pentecost with us. You call everybody you can. Pack this place out Sunday morning. The time is right. The liberty is in the house. The spirit is right. Let's come in with faith, ready to pray, ready to worship, and bring people here that need the Holy Ghost. And if you need the Holy Ghost, don't stay in your pew. Keep coming up front. Keep praying. I believe this Sunday is going to be another victory Sunday in Jesus' name. Anybody believe that with the man of God in the pulpit right now? Victory Sunday in Jesus' name. So those are the announcements. Sunday morning, 1230, 12 prayer. Monday night will be the service for this coming week, and we want to keep that in mind. Sign up for the fireworks. Let's all stand and pray over this offering. God, we love you. We thank you, God, for the opportunity to give to your kingdom. Thank you for the victory that is in this house right now, God. We give you the praise. We're honored to give back to you as you have so greatly blessed us. Bless it all in Jesus' name, we pray. Come forward. Let's worship God in giving of our tithe and offering.